Former Marvel movie star Jonathan Majors avoided jail time today. A jury convicted him for a misdemeanor assault involving his ex-girlfriend, Grace Jabari. He was ordered to go to an in-person domestic violence program for a year, continue mental health therapy, and stay away from the victim. All right, big question here. Why isn't he doing jail time? Very good question. Many people are wondering about that. It really goes to the facts of the case. Essentially, this was a, a, a alleged struggle between Jabari and Majors in the back of a car. She saw something on his phone that she got upset about. She was reaching for it, and they struggled over it. So there were three charges against him. The jury could find either it didn't happen at all, or he intentionally hurt her, or it was just a reckless fighting over the, the uh, phone. And apparently the jury, the way they came back with the charges, just one misdemeanor charge, they thought it was just sort of a, a reckless act. And both sides agreed to it. Both sides said he doesn't need jail time right now. It's his first offense, no prior convictions. Mm -hmm. So we'll go with just the program for a year. Let's talk about his career because he's already been dropped from several big movies, including his Marvel mm -hmm. movies. You've worked with a lot of celebrities in the past. Will he be able to get back into the business? Are they forgiving? You know, I've prosecuted a lot of celebrities, and um, Hollywood loves a redemption story, but ever since Harvey Weinstein and the Me Too, they're very careful, very sensitive anytime it comes to allegations, you know, uh, about of this nature. And his major problem now is uh, Jabari has also filed a civil lawsuit, so he has to deal with that first before anything happens. All right, so it could get complicated for him. Yeah. So, also, a major asbestos case that you've probably not heard about is going to trial next week. It's against Warren Buffett's BNSF Railway. The lawsuit is being brought by the estates of two people who died of lung cancer after being exposed to asbestos in the small town of Libby, Montana. It went from a industrial pollution problem to a disaster. That's all you can say was a disaster. The victims are two people who were exposed to asbestos in the mine after it was left behind this toxic material that the trains would blow through the neighborhood. So many of the residents there were infected with it mm -hmm. many years ago in the 70s and 80s. So what is the significance of this case? Because this seems like it could happen many other places as well. Yes. Well, the interesting thing about this trial is it's the first jury trial out of this incident, mm -hmm. right? So they are affected in the 70s and 80s, but it takes up to 40 years for them to actually manifest the symptoms. And these two uh, estates, the victims, actually died in 2021. So mm -hmm. there have been multiple lawsuits. Hundreds of people died from this. Over 3,000 people were injured from it. And so we've had lawsuits coming out of this. Millions of dollars have already been paid out. The mining company you heard about, they filed for bankruptcy, and then they paid $1.8 billion wow. into an asbestos trust fund for future claims. The state of Montana Anna was also sued and because they failed to warn residents about the exposure and they've paid $68 million mm -hmm. out to about 2,000 residents. Mm -hmm. So now this is the first time it's going to a jury trial, meaning they could not settle it with the, the people. And so now we're going to hear about everything in a jury room, in the courtroom. All the testimony is going to come out. Look, we've, we've known about the harmful effects of, uh, of asbestos for a long time, but the EPA just now is going ahead with a ban. What, what took so long? What's behind that? And will this make a difference? You know, it's interesting. So that ban, you think it's still a, a total ban. It's not. Even right. the one on, on Monday, the EPA administrator said this only applies to a section known as white asbestos. Mm -hmm. And the industry has 12 years to actually t take it out slowly over time. And the experts are concerned about it because they say there are a number of different kinds of asbestos and they're worried that they will just start using the other kinds of asbestos, which are actually more hazardous than the white asbestos that were just banned. Wow. Mm. That's right. very complicated. Our version of Lady Justice here on the news on Merritt Street. Lonnie Coombs, everybody.